Good morning, everyone. It's 4.30 a.m. I'm playing EverQuest. Playing on a ranger, and we're fighting rabid grizzlies. I was on my way to Kinos, and then I saw these guys on tracking. So you need to get these putrid bear hides. And it's great money. It's great experience. So I was on my way to Kinos, and I saw two of them on tracking. I thought, well, let's just do this. I'm looking for more of them on tracking. The regular grizzly bears are good, too. A putrid skeleton, let's go for that, too. Ahead and to the right. So we could turn the putrid rib skeleton bones into Nicholas. It's to the right, to the right. Oh, my mouse is not tracking here. To the right, heading to the right. He's just, just right over here, yeah. I need to give myself skin like wood too. And let's see if we can track a grizzly while I'm fighting this. I don't see the grizzly here, but there is one somewhere around and we'll get him. Currently at 20% through this weight. I can't talk, I just woke up. Oh man, but it feels so good to wake up on my own without the alarm clock going off. There we go, rib bones. And let's see, we need to find more rabbit grizzlies. So on tracking, I'm gonna look for will-o'-wisps. Mm, to the left. Heading to the left. And once you see them glowing, it's fine. You don't have to go to the tracking, they're just right there. And Holly Windstalker's up. Avoid her, even if you're fighting the rabid grizzly. She's a little crazy. I don't think she's stable. She does not like people. Nearly as much as she likes animals. I think a lot of people are like that. And probably for good reason. Animals... Especially dogs are loyal, non-judgmental, and people can be bad sometimes. All right, these are good experiences, and if you can get a greater lightstone, and we'll be rolling in the cash. Come here and die. Well. It's a regular light stone. All right, tracking, what do we have? We have more. Oh, there's a rabid wolf. Let's go for that one, he's green. And he's behind me. Heading to the right. There he is. So even if he's around, make sure Holly's not near me. This will be an easy kill. Playing my white bat audio music, always playing it. Let's switch weapons here. A fleshy orb. I can't remember what you do with that, but you can turn this diseased wolf pelt to the same person I'm gonna turn the putrid bear hide to. What do we have on tracking? Nothing. Let's go back towards the road. We'll find something. All right, on tracking, I see two more will-o'-wisps. These you don't need to track necessarily in the dark because they're so easy to spot. They light up the ground. They illuminate. My shoes are not magical, so I don't do any kick damage. I like to buy some boots that are better than this, and I need pants. I'm wearing cloth pants. All right. There's another Will-O-Wisp up. We'll get that one next. Don't want a flame lick. I think this is the other one. There's another Putrid Skeleton up. We'll get that guy too. See, it's like great with Rangers. It's like you can track these roaming mobs that are for quest rewards and outdoor zones. It opens up a lot of outdoor areas to be very good comparable maybe even better 
than dungeon grinding experience. It's hard to tell these guys die. They just kind of, you know, the, the, the animation, there's no like corpse animation. Wow, greater. All right, it is behind me, to the right. It is ahead and to the left. All right, we're, ch we're tracking a putrid skeleton. And there's a bear too. Oh, nice, it's a rabid grizzly. Let's get this one first. Perfect. While I'm fighting it, let's see what else is up. Uh, let's go for the putrid skeleton. No, let's go for the will-o'-wisp first. We'll get that one. Making, oh, I've got rabies on now. We need the rabies vaccine, the toxoid, the to anti-toxin or whatever. I would hate to get rabies. It's almost deadly if you wait too long. It's a virus and it travels up your nervous system. It travels up your nerves. And then it goes to your central nervous system. All right, so that's done. Tracking, let's see, we have Will-O-Wisp, Let's go for the Will-O-Wisp, and it says it's straight ahead. Oh, is this one it? Of course, he's right there. All right, I'm always using Flame Lake. It's a great spell. If you're not using Flame Lake, you're not getting maximum value out of your character. So, tracking while we fight this, let's see. I'm seeing this grizzly bear that considers white. That would be good experience, but I'm not really after those. But if nothing else is up, that's what we'll do. Of course, I can't kick damage this thing. Konomatsu. I don't think he's really useful for anything major. He just roams around as part of the monks. Uh, there we go. Oh, nice. It's a light stone. So let's track again. I see nothing really. Let's go more towards the Blackboro direction. Because I know the rabid grizzlies track. They path over there. And that's where we want to be. Fighting more of them. Alright, I'm not seeing any. I see this grizzly bear. Which would be good XP. So we might just go for that. Oh, why did I, I forge something? Sure, false sap. Cool. So I'm going to put on this snake fang now. We're going to raise piercing skill. All right. I see an old scout. Oh, let's go to Nicholas and turn in that putrid rib bone. It says he's ahead to the right. Straight ahead. Straight ahead. Oh, there he is, right there. All right, so we need to open up our bags and find the putrid rib bone. I think I just throw it on top of him, his head. We'll hail him just to get him to stop moving. There it is. So at level 11, please stop. At 32% experience. Whoa, it took me to 38. 6% experience for the putrid skeleton thing. That was so easy. There's another putrid skeleton. Let's go get it. Head and to the left. Behind and to the left. Straight ahead. And we're tracking him. And that must be it. Yes, it is. So if we get a bone, we'll go right to, you know, the guy. Nicholas. So here is my piercing weapon. It is an ancient snake fang. Which has a poison proc, but it doesn't go off until you're level 15, I believe. So I need to start tracking Nicholas right away because he's going to move around. Maybe out of my tracking range soon. And if I get a bone, I'm going to go turn it into him right away. Nope, no bone. 
so we don't need to track him any longer. But I probably should heal myself up. All right, back into the action. I see a Will-O-Wisp on the radar. And I also see it running around in the dark. And there it is. Okay, I casted a few heals on myself. I'm not regenerating life while standing because of the rabies. Make sure nothing's behind me. Hmm. This is so good, tracking. And if I had further range on it, I could find all the rabid grizzlies in the area. We're limited only by my tracking range, which is kind of low at level 11, but it's going to keep getting better. Everyone knows that. Has piercing even increased yet? I don't think it has. I'm trying to raise the skill. Some skills just don't want to go. There it goes. It's at seven. My piercing is at seven. It's not very much. So we'll keep this thing. We'll keep it flame licked on. Okay. Let's just snare it so I don't have to keep chasing it around. Oh, whatever. Die. We're getting lots of regular light stones. But not the good ones. All right. I don't like playing in the dark. You can't see, but at least we have tracking. And nothing is on the radar here. Oh, oh, I'm over here? I didn't want to run this way. Let's run over that way. Okay, we're back closer to the road again. Let's see. I'm tracking a Will-O-Wisp. Let's go for that one. Heading to the left. Straight ahead. I never would have known it was on the other side of the hill without tracking. There he is. And I see two of them on tracking. Remember, flame lick first. I'm, on, I'm only 50% live right now. So we'll track the other one, because that other one's a roamer. And then after this fight, I need to heal myself. Piercing skill, still very low. I think it's like 7. Oh man, I'm down to 39% life. I'll win easily, but that's going to be a lot of heals. Yeah, let's keep tracking. There he goes. Let's flame like him. Let's try to snare him. And why he's getting whittled down, I'm gonna start healing. I need to start healing myself. Down at 36% life. Turn off auto attack. 41% experience to the level, but I have a lot of quest turn-ins to do. Oh my god, what was that? One, two, three, four, five fizzles in a row for minor healing. At level 11. Five? That's kind of ridiculous. Damn. So, he's still snared, isn't that? Isn't that impressive how long the snare works? Down to 5% life. Oh, a little laggy. There we go. Now he's burned out. Let me heal up and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, good enough. I'm 55% life. 
We have to get fighting. Can't waste too much time. I only have one day off. Oh, piercing. You finally decided to increase, finally. So it says my defense is now 55. Oh, rabbit grizzly. Tracking him. Heading to the right. We'll go right for him next. This weapon is one of the proc three times, but we're too low in levels. Ooh, I fizzled. <laughs> Piercing is going up, though. <laughs> I can't seem to finish him off. Alright, so it says he's behind and to the left. To the right. Straight ahead and to the right. So here's the rabid grizzly. Let's just kill this one and go turn it in. I have a couple null things to turn into. It says he's to the left, behind and to the left. Where is he? Ahead and to the left. Heading to the right. There he is. I don't think I ever would have found him. Ooh, am I, am I ready for this? Maybe I need to heal up first. All right, I, I, I sat down right next to him because I was going to try to heal up one more time. And I didn't realize that Rabid Grizzly would attack me. But it makes sense because he's rabid. The damn thing's out of its mind. But once I'm able to kill it, I'm going to run to Kino's and see how much experience we get from these turn-ins. And then I'm going to head over to Irid's Crossing to finish out this level. Ow. I haven't flame licked him yet. There we go. I might need to heal myself up a bit because I'm going to start running slow. This l yeah, we get more hides. 48% life, and let's go back to town. Is that a putrid? No. It's just the regulars. I don't like playing in the dark, so I'll see you guys in Kinos. In case you're wondering how effective tracking is at level 11 with maxed out skill, that guard right there next to the right of the gate, this is the point where I can still track him and pick him up. So this distance in all directions is my tracking range. It's still in view, but that's only at level 11. That's quite a range, and it helps you out when you're in zones with trees and hills. Any kind of a thing obstructing view. Just an FYI. Okay, let's go turn in our hides. We have four. You come in this area here. You don't talk to her. It's Calria. So we'll turn in the wolf one first. That was an easy kill. 48% experience to the level. Wow, I went from 48 to 53% at level 11. And she healed my cured the disease. Now, putrid rib bone. I mean, sorry, putrid bear hide from 53% to 61. And she gave me two platinum. And the spell that sells for good money. 8% experience for killing those rabid grizzlies. Wow. That's amazing. Moving on. Now I'm going to quickly sell. To show you how much money you get. Oh, he's not a vendor. He's too fancy. Where's my bag? Here we go. These are the rewards we got. Almost two platinum. 
So you get th you get around three and a half platinum per bear kill. Plus you get about 10% experience. You get 2% from the kill itself and then about 8% from the hide turn in. And that's at level 11. So do this quest. It's amazing. Okay, we're here. I arrived on Irid's Crossing. You don't even need tracking for this area. But if you wanted to, you could. Wow, there's a Will-O-Wisp that considers white. I guess I should have been sitting down. I was, I was away from keyboard for a little bit. Still working on my piercing skill. I wish I had magic boots to make this easier. So we're going to be fighting Willow Wisp till I get to level 12. Mmm, one more heal. Oh, there's a player out here. What are you doing? Those are my wisps. Haven't you heard I came out here to level up? Dude. Bro. Wow, look how many there are. An island madman. He scowls at me. I wonder if the rest of the town folks would save me from him if he attacked me. Because he scowls? Did that dude attack every one of them? Please tell me no. Oh my gosh, I think he took them all. Bro. What about this lady over here? She's apprehensive. Bro, dude. Well, I don't have anything to attack. I came here, all the way over here. And some higher level guy is fighting them all. Let's see what level he is. He's level 30. Well, that's the risk you take when you travel all the way over here. I'm going to fight the spiders. Man, he took every single one of them. Oh my gosh, he took every one of them. There was like 12 of them on the radar. <laughs> no, there's none. I don't know what to do now. I don't know what to do. What can I fight? Well, let's look and see what the vendors got on them and then let's get on the boat and leave. Anyways, I decided to attack a spider. Um, another one snuck up behind me. A little dangerous, I guess. But the dude's here killing everything, so what else do I have? No other options. The boat's not here, so I'm kind of stuck for a while. Oh man, this one considers white too. Oh man, please don't get any more ads. Oh, they're close by too. Damn, they're everywhere. Oh my god, there's a damn madman. I'm dead. Oh my god, I'm dead here. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks. Well, anyways, that's going to end this episode. I've got a long corp trend to do. It's going to be, depending on the boat ride, it could be anywhere from 15 or more minutes and I don't know. Maybe it was a bad idea to hit to care Isle. I'm just trying to do something different. I didn't want to fight the spiders because they, you know, for obvious reasons. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'll probably make another video or two today because it's my only day off. Um, by the time I get my corpse, I'll probably just keep staying on the ranger. And the reason I'm not playing, I think someone asked me and I didn't reply to him yet. The reason why I'm playing, I didn't give up on the 
rogue yet. It's just that I wanted to log on quickly and play and this character is ready to go and the rogue wasn't. So I just started this character because I wanted to play like a quick 30 minute session before bed. So that's the reason why I'm still playing all my characters, by the way. See you guys soon. Take care.